welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Good day, this is Teacher I, and in today's video, I am going to share with you about the divisibility rules. Okay, so what is this? Let's go. Before we're going to discuss the divisibility rules, I am going to explain first the term divisible. Okay, so what is divisible? We say that uh, it is divisible if we're going to divide such number and it will give us the quotient without remainders. Ibig sabihin, exact numbers lang. Walang point something or walang remainder na ibibigay. So, exact numbers po. Okay? So, it means that's divisible. 15 divide, divide 2. So, it will give us 7 remainder 1. So, therefore, 15 is not divisible by 2. Okay? So, yun. So, ganun po yung divisibility natin. Or divisible. Divisibility rules allows us to test if one number is divisible by another without using a calculator. So, without using a calculator. If you don't have a calculator, what are we going to do if, it is, if a number is divisible by such number? Okay, so here are the rules. Divisible by 2. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit of the number is even number. Okay, if you still uh, if you cannot remember what are the even numbers, we have the 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So those are the uh, numbers that um that are even numbers. Okay. So let's have example Divisible by two example, we have there 128, the last digit is 8, so therefore 8 is an even number, so it is divisible by 2. While we have there 4,231, the last digit is 1, which is odd number, it is not an even number, so 4,231 is not divisible by 2. So, madali lang po, no? So, again, the last digit should be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And that, and that, uh, that is divisible by 2. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. We have here divisible by 3. Now, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. It means we are going to add all the numbers. Okay? So, how are, do, how are we going to do it? First example. So, we have there 128 again. So, we're going to have 1 plus 2 plus 8. So, when we add 1 plus 2 plus 8, it will give us 11. And if we're going to divide 11 by 3, it's uh, equals to 3 remainder 2. So therefore, 128 is not divisible by 3 because it is not, again, we have here, uh, it's not divisible by 3. So if the sum, okay, here in 128, the sum is not divisible by 3. The sum is 11, which is uh, 3 remainder uh, 2. Let's have another example. We have here 1,353. Let's add them. So 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3, it will give us 12. And when we're going to divide the 12, divide, divide 3, it will give us 4. So therefore, the 1,353 is divisible by 3. Ayan. Okay? So I hope it's clear. Let's proceed to divisible by 4. So, divisible by 4, if a number is, okay, a number is divisible by 4 if that 2, okay, 2 last, okay, or if the last 2 digits are divisible by 4. So, you're going to add the last 2 digits and you have to divide it by 4. It's, uh, so, we have here example, we have here 4,231. Now, the last two digits is 3 and 1. 
So we have 3 plus 4, uh, again, we have 3 plus 1 rather is equals to 4. And when you're going to divide 4, divide divide 1, it will give us 1. So therefore, 4,231 is divisible by 4. Ayan. So you have to add that 2 last digit. If in 3, in divisible by 3, we add all the numbers here in divisible by 4, we just add that 2 last digit number. And we're going to divide it by 4. Okay, let's have another example. We have here 128. So the last uh, two digit number is 2 and 8. So 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. And we're going to divide 10 divided by 4 is, uh, you know, will give us um, 2 remainder 2. So therefore, the 128 is not divisible by 4. Let's proceed to divisible by 5. So this is just easy. So a number is divisible by 5 if the last digit of a number is 0 or 5. So madali lang makilala. So it's easy to know if the last digit is 0 or 5, it's divisible automatically by 5. Example. Okay, we have here examples. We have 4,231. Okay, it is not divisible by 5 because uh, the last digit is 1. Again, we said that it is divisible by 5 if it is, if the last digit is 0 and 5. Okay, there. Another example, you have 120, so it is divisible by 5 because the last digit is 5. Oh, no, it is divisible by 5 because the last digit is zero okay so let's continue divisible by six a number is divisible by six if the number is divisible by both two and three so kailangan a divisible by two and three again we said it is divisible by two if it is uh, the last digit is even number and it is divisible by 3 if we add all the numbers, if the sum of it is divisible by 3. Okay, let's have the example. Example here, we have 128. The last digit is even number, so therefore it is divisible by 2. But let's have if it's divisible by 3. Okay, so 128, 1 plus 2 plus 8 is equals to 11. Okay. So, 11 divided by 3 is equals to 3.2. So, therefore, uh, it is not divisible by 3. So, again, we said the rules here, it should be divisible by both the uh, 2 and 3. So, therefore, 128 is not divisible by 6. Next one, we have divisible by 8. Okay. We have... A number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits are divisible by 8. So again, we're going to look for the last three digits and we're going to divide them. So example we have here, 1,816. So 1,816, the last three digit of it is 816 or 800, uh, 816. When we're going to divide it by uh, 8, so it will give us 102, okay? So therefore, the 1,816 is divisible by 8. Let's have now divisible by 9, okay? A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all the digits of a number is divisible by 8. 9. So, it is almost the same with the divisible by, by 3, wherein we add all the, the, the numbers. So, in, num in 9, we're going to uh, add all the numbers again and we're going to divide it by 9. Okay? So, we have example 9,531. Okay, so we're going to add them. So, 9 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 is equals to 18. 18 divided by 9 
is equals to 2. So therefore, the 9,531 is divisible by 9. So let's have next, okay? This is the last rules that I'm going to discuss to you. We have here divisible by 10, okay? We have here a number is divisible by 10 if the last digit of a number is 0. Ayan. So a while ago in 5, it is, uh, the last digit should be 5 and 0. Here in 10, it should be the last digit should be 0. Examples, we have there 218. It's not divisible by 10 because the end, look at it, the end digit is 8, which is not 0. So it's not divisible by 10. Another example, we have there 4,200. We have, so it is divisible by 10 because the end is 0. Ayan po. So, let's have this. We're going to use the divisibility, divisibility rules. Okay? So, use the divisibility rules to color the correct answer. Okay, so we have here two numbers only, but we're going to look for it if it's divisible by, divisible by uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. So, we have there 2,920. The M is 0. Okay, and we have also there 316. So, let's answer them. Okay, so the 2,920 is divisible by uh, 2 because it's an e the last digit is even number. It is not divisible by 3 because when you add 2 plus 9 is 11 plus 3 is 13. 13 divided by 3 is... Um, is equals to 4 remainder 1. So, it's not divisible by 3. We also have there 4. Okay. So, it is also divisible by 4. Okay. And, um, 2,920 is also divisible by 5 because the last digit is 0. We said that the last digit, it is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 5 and 0. It is also divisible by 8 because the, what do you call this? If we're going to uh, divide the 920, it will give us um, the exact um, uh, quotient. So it is divisible by 8. And it is divisible by, uh, uh, it is not divisible by 9 because if you're going to add them, uh, 2 plus 9 is 11 plus 2 is 13, divided by 9, it will not give us an exact um, quotient. So, there, so um, it's not divisible by 9. And we have here, uh, is it divisible by 10? Yes, because the end or, or the last digit is 0. The 316 is divisible by 2 because it, the last digit is an even number. It is not divisible by 3 again because if you're going to add them, it's 3 plus 1 plus 6 is equals to 10. 10 divided by 3, so it's um, not, so it will give us uh, 3 remainder 1. Okay, so it's not divisible. It is divisible by 4, and but it's not divisible by 5 because the end is 6, not 0 and 5. It is not also divisible by other numbers, so that's the answer. Okay, so um, I do hope you learned from this lesson of mine about the divisibility rules. Thank you for watching everyone, and please subscribe to my channel. My channel is Teacher I or, and God bless everyone. Ayan po. God bless everyone. Thank you so much, and bye-bye. Uh,